recurring figures, cited as a major influence by such varied artists as Michael Stipe, uh, Bono of U2, and Courtney Love. Her latest album is Peace and Love, and she also has a new book out. It's called Patti Smith Complete. Please welcome Patti Smith. <laughs> So, everybody. I, uh, first noise. of all, yeah? Noise. 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 Noise Peace is good. Noise. Peace and noise. Yeah. Did I get it wrong? What did I say? <laughs> Peace and love, but love's good too. But I believe in peace and love, baby. <laughs> you got a problem with peace and love? I like my title. Uh, peace and noise. Check out Peace and Noise. Maybe uh, my we'll apologies. sell more with your title. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bet on it. <laughs> uh, I got to tell people how this happened. I, met, I, I bump into you on an airplane. And uh, we start talking. You said, I really want to come on the show. And I thought, well, you want to come on to... I begged. You begged, which no one does, by the way, you know? <laughs> it's usually the other way around. It's me, you know, cornering Nipsey Russell, please! <laughs> and you said, I, I, you know, I want to come on the show. And I thought, she wants to come and sing. She wants to come and read a poetry. She said, no, no, I just want to come out and be a guest. And I get your book, and I start looking through the book, and the first photograph oh, that I see. It's taken so long. I know, I know. But listen, the first, this is interesting. The first photograph I see is a photo of Johnny Carson, who it turns out is your hero. Yeah. That was so cool. I didn't, and, and I never thought that Johnny Carson would be your hero. I mean, he's a hero to a lot of people, but I didn't realize that that would be you. Yeah. You give me a hard time about taking too long. <laughs> no. I shut up. I'm sorry. And I'm you really leave. Sorry. No, I really apologize. <laughs> no, no. I'm just... I'm actually, I'm real, I'm so, I'm really excited to be here, and usually I talk a real lot, and I'm a really good talker, and I've been wanting to be on television for, like, two decades now, and I've uh -huh. been fantasizing it since I was in high school, and I even thought, you know, eventually, like, I would come on the show, and I'd be a really good talker and say really cool things and be really funny, and then, finally, I would get your desk, and I would take over the talk show, and now I'm here, and I really... I can't. I'm, I'm rooting for you now. <laughs> first just, of all, we've never. I'm, we have someone who's excited to be here. First of all, which well, is very cool. No, I am excited. I I think um, being on TV with. Um, I mean, there's all these people here, mm -hmm. and we're all live, and we're all looking at each other, and then. <laughs> hi, and then later on tonight, there's going to be like a couple of million people um, watching, and not a couple of million. <laughs> We gotta talk. <laughs> maybe I should rename your show. That's what <laughs> I think maybe you should be sitting well, here. Yeah. No matter how many people are, right. it's re it's really exciting. No, it, 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 it is a couple million. It's cool. Yeah. Is that Johnny over there? Yeah, we got pictures of Johnny. Well, and how come you never show that wall? That's really a nice it's wall. A you have Jack Parr. Right. Johnny. Right. Dave's and over there. And Dave and who's that guy? I can't. Um, we don't know. <laughs> No, that's Steve Allen without his glasses. Oh, yeah, sorry. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, no, that's okay. You know, what... You should um, show that wall. That's, that's a very honorable wall. Show the wall, please, Liz. <laughs> we just thought if we shot the wall a lot that... <laughs> that maybe after a while that would get boring, but we should work it in a little show bit. Show Johnny's picture in there. Well, Can this you is a... You know what? Yeah, really I want to show nice. this. Well, because I really wanted a picture of Johnny there because he was... I've never seen this picture of him before. Because no, it's, really, uh, it's a really cool picture of him. He looks like he's like 19 years old here. Yep. And you actually have said that Johnny Carson was an inspiration in your performing. Is that true? Well, yeah, yeah. What I mean, aspect? Well, I, when I used to watch um, Johnny um, on TV in the 60s, the thing that um, I thought was really great was how he could bail out of any situation. And, well, I already read it in the book, so it's sort of redundant, but it's how I feel about him. He was like a human parachute, just bail out anything. And, you know, the way that he spars with people and hecklers, and he always comes up, you know, like a gentleman and one cooler or one funnier than the person who's bugging him. And I took, um, I took a lot of that attitude with me when I had to perform for the many thousands of people who wanted me off the stage that I was on, so. Um. Well, what he was, I guess, most famous for is if the crowd wasn't going for what he was saying in his monologue, 
he could make the joke not working really funny. Yeah. And you, you feel like you use that in your performances? Well, yeah. I mean, I think about, I think about um, you know, he had a lot of courage, and um, I just try not to be afraid, and he was a great improviser, you know, if, if he could, you know, if, if things weren't going very good, like right now, he'd know what to do. <laughs> I think this is going really well. You don't think this is going well? I mean, yeah, we love yeah, having I'm just, you here. I'm, I'm just... <laughs> I don't know. First of all, I was Someone really, get Johnny on the phone and find out really, what we should do. I have to tell you, I was really shocked to hear all the cursing going on on this show. Really, you've been missing out. Boy, I'm, that's I'm, the way it is here every night. That's why they they kept me off of TV for 20 years, <laughs> afraid I was going to say a curse word, and I finally get on on TV, and there's cursing all over the place. <laughs> It is pretty ironic that the night you're here, it pretty much is kind of disgusting, yeah. Uh, well, that's what it's been like. It's changed a great deal. Is this something like, could you see yourself having your own show like this? Would you want to do it now? All the time. Would you still want to do it? You mean this moment? Well, well, why don't you come over here and sit behind the desk when we go to commercial? You want to do it? Let's feel it out. Come on. Just, you sit there. Okay, rule number one, Patty, you're not allowed to do that. That's... <laughs> I've watched this show. It's my you desk could... now, baby. Yeah. I can do what I want. Well, you know what, we're out of... My personality changes totally when I get behind the desk. Mine, too. Uh... Yeah, see, now you feel as lame as I did a few minutes ago. <laughs> I pretty much feel that way a lot. It's not... Do you, uh... We gotta go to commercial right now, so why don't you do it? Why don't you thank me for being here? Conan... I want to thank you for coming. You begged me on the plane to come, and um, I told you to go in the bathroom, but you... Um... So anyway, <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back. Yeah. We had a great time. Uh, thanks to the band, all our guests, Andy and Conan. Bye-bye. <laughs>